Illinois Valley Community Hospital, we care for you. Talking Sports brought to you by the caring professionals at Illinois Valley Community Hospital. IVCH. All right, time again for Talking Sports. We figured instead of being out on the practice field today, maybe Kevin and I would come in and, and, and just kind of regroup, bring everybody up to date on where we are. It's hard to believe the football season, Friday night, will be a third over the regular season. Yeah, it seems like it's going by fast. It's like just yesterday the football tab came out and we were just getting ready for week one. Pretty soon you get the playoff tab coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. How were those games last Friday? A Hall yeah. and LP, one point wins? Yeah, that's pretty exciting. And, and of course, this weekend, uh, that Hall, uh, the team Hall's playing is going to be pretty good. A lot of people don't know about them. They travel all over the place. Lake Forest Academy. Yeah, I have not heard much about yeah, them yet. Yeah, I think they're going to be pretty good. And of course, LaSalle Peru has Sterling. They haven't beaten them in a while. And that's going to be the headliner on. WLPO and don't forget Ottawa is on the Wolf now and, and Hall is on WHAK and those football games are streamed on the station's website. Of course Kevin you've got people out covering all the football games in the area not only the big three but a lot of other uh, teams too. Yeah we'll be out at Mendoto and, and LP and Hall, St. Pete, all those schools. And uh, what else kind of jumps out at you now early in the season? Volleyball? Pretty good huh? Yeah LP volleyball of course is good again they always are. Mendota had a nice uh, uh, finish at a tournament this weekend, so did Princeton, so it looks like we have some uh, really good teams. And uh, it's official, the South Peru has its first ever varsity soccer win. Yeah, right. A big win on Tuesday yeah. against Mendota. Uh, I'm Ryan Robeson from England, he's the new coach, and he's got him, uh, headed in the right direction apparently. Clay Tysinger's LP tennis team is good, but there are other tennis teams that are playing well this fall. Yeah, Princeton won the Cole City Quad over the weekend, and Mendota has a couple of good players as well. Okay, now let's see. Cross country is going on. Yeah, they just started up. We got you know, Scott Janusik is back. He's the you know New Tribune Player of the Year last year, and he should be really good on the trials this year. Okay, Kaylee Klein's gone to Romania. Jay Happ is still winning for the for the Astros, right? That's right, six and two. Brett Zawaki's done for this season. He's coming home for a little bit, and. I know you'll have something in the paper. We'll have something on WLPO as well. So, yeah, it's just a lot of things going on, and you've got a great website going. You're doing a lot of Twittering, yeah, we too, had, right? Yeah, keeping up with the times, we are tweeting now from all the games we cover and what, other various things. What's the difference between Twitter and tweet? A tweet is what you call it. Uh, when you actually post something on Twitter, it's called a tweet. Oh. oh I don't know where they got that. No, I don't either. Well, that's pretty tweet. <laughs> Okay, well, and with that, it's time to say so long. Well, you made it through the Labor Day weekend, which means summer's officially over, and now fall is here all In the full way. full swing. Right? I'm ready for the cool weather. And don't forget, next time, you can join Kevin Klum and Melanie Slevin on your favorite uh, video program. It's called Talkin' Sports. Talkin Sports.